hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Those of you who do celebrate this holiday here in the States, obviously got some viewers and listeners from other parts of the globe. Uh, for me personally, it was great. It was actually, you know, now that I've relocated out to, uh, you know, to ne- Nevada, it was my first family Thanksgiving in probably 20 years, you know, I've just been living on other uh, other side of the country for a while. And it was really, really nice. So, you know, when I tell people I moved to Las Vegas, it's not a, wasn't a quality of living thing. It was, uh, you know, just getting an opportunity to be closer to family for myself and uh, for the wife. So you guys might think I'm crazy. You might think that I'm a nut job um, saying this here. I've had a lot of really, really hot takes on the channel. I've had some cold takes, you know, some things that didn't age well. I've had some hot takes that were just, you know, probably pretty wild. This is something I'm pretty confident in. And I, I still could be wrong because no one's, it doesn't matter how confident. It's not a 100% guarantee. I think that a hard to kill Jordan Grace is turning heel on Trinity. And there's a few reasons for this. Number one, they're going into 2024 and this hard to kill with all babyface champions. That just screams that we got to shake shit up a little bit and add some personality to the title scene, right? Also, if you've noticed the last couple Trinity matches and feuds and, and, uh, you know, is her shaking hands and hugging and happy to be here and the opponent's happy to be here and they're just having a good baby face versus baby face match. And they're even doing that with Jordan Grace a little bit right now where with Bully Ray where, you know, they're shaking hands. And I I really think that they are trying to throw people off the set here where they're trying to show sportsmanlike qualities between the wrestlers especially a guy like bully ray who we just kind of saw as a heel and he's given jordan her flowers and respect and i just think it's coming and i think jordan grace needs the shake up as well um we've seen we were seeing a very similar uh arc with jonathan gresham on a much lower level of course he's not in a title scene unfortunately but there is no way with this whole cast of babyface champions and another babyface versus babyface match for Trinity, there's I just don't see Jordan leaving there, hugging Trinity and shaking her hand because I think she's gonna win. She was, uh, you know, her contract ran out. She made a return, and you know I think with that comes promises, promises of. Um, you know, a higher status on the card because what can Jordan Grace do at this point, right? And um, I, I don't think Trinity is going to lose but one or two matches in her time and impact. I think it's going to be when she loses the title and maybe a rematch if she has a rematch. If it's versus Jordan and Jordan flips on her, goes heel, there will, there will be a rematch. But there's no way in this TNA era that we are going in 2024 with heel i mean excuse me babyface jordan grace champion again I, I just i just don't see it i think they're trying to throw us off the scent i again i don't see them hugging each other and shaking hands after the match or if trinity wins jordan still turns on her but i really think that's the direction they're they're going with this cuz the other point i want to make i don't think I know. I don't think. I know. Scott Demore is not beating Trinity clean. He, he's. There's no way. There is no way we are going to see a clean Trinity loss. Maybe if there's a rematch, okay. But when Trinity drops that title, it is not going to be clean. There is no way in hell. And um, I, I feel strong about this, folks. I really do. Again, this might be one of my hot takes that we go back to hard to kill and they're, you know, raising each other's hands after the match and they had a great happy to be here, babyface versus babyface match. But I think we've just done that 
too much with Trinity. We did saw it with Mickey James, um, saw it with freaking uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? His name? Whatever. Sunny Kiss. Recently, it's just too much. There's no heat in every and anything Trinity is doing, you know. And I, I just think that's what's natural for Jordan Grace because they could even pair her with her husband at this point in one way, shape, or form, and it would it would freshen things up quite a bit for both of them. And even though I think Jordan Grace is a, a star in every way, I do think they got to freshen her up a little bit. And with the whole hard to kill TNA 2024 January January, we're trying to come into the new year with a bang. I just don't see the happy to be here shit happening at the end of the match. 